Hey guys, um, this is my video for the reaction of the E3 2009 Microsoft press conference and oh my god, Microsoft was just hiding everything for this, everything. It was weird that they kept stumped for so long though. But this is probably the most likely reason why that they laid the smack down on Sony. Because Sony were obviously preparing for something big. I'm not Microsoft fanboy, but 360 has... I have all consoles. I got a cap because my flat screen, my big flat screen, protecting everything. Um, but behind there is a PS2, a PS3, a Wii, and an Xbox 360. Then, well, the PS3 and the Xbox and get as much players from each other. But at the moment, it's the PS3 because, well, at the moment it's my PC because the market's been really stagnant. But oh my God, Project Intel, which looks. This is what the Wii wanted to be, but couldn't be it because they just weren't prepared. It's because of technology. It looks really nice and simple as well. Project Nutel, definitely buying it because it looks like something me and my friend would play on. Um, secondly, is Alan Wake. Alan Wake looks awesome, looks fun for RPG. Final Fantasy XIII looks brilliant, very nice. Uh, and then we had Halo ODST, that looked pretty. Oh, that game looks awesome. I know it's short, I'm going to be buying that. Um, but when I was, I was truly gasping, I was just, a, I was actually, and the thing that made me gargle was the because my girl, my home girl, Felicia Dale came on and she's my home girl. She's my girl. She's my girl. She's my home girl. And um and when she announced well, when they asked her to announce see Facebook and Twitter Oh my god <laughs> I'm a f to any of my friends watching this, my Facebook is like I use my Facebook so much it's considered wrong and I'm wanting to be look at my friends as well and um just basically oh my god that, that just breathes a fresh fresh breath of fresh air sorry into the console and and you and they've partnered with Facebook meaning Sony cannot get that because well, Microsoft are always lock. They have the money though. Microsoft have, have infinite money. What well, have trillions? They have trillion stock. But they must have a hell of a low stock power. So they're just like right objector. It's just like how much? Two hundred fifty million. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, it cost. It probably cost them a good freaking lot of money, but it beats bloody. Beats their competition, get it? Well, Nintendo couldn't get it because their consoles just behind. They put it. They put so much into the motion software that everything else just backfired on them. And I'm going to do a little video after this about my opinions of the generation at the moment. I know. Oh my God! Just. That just Forza Free looks really good. I'm not a racing person, but Forza Free, Forza Free, but pretty damn fine. Damn, that game looked good. Oh, I'm just, I'm just taken aback by that press conference because I knew the motion software was coming, but I wouldn't be that. I didn't know it'd be that impressive. That is certainly impressive, and to anyone who doesn't know, it's it's full body, full body, which you put, you put a tiny little motion capture device at the top of your TV screen, 
designed specifically for flat screens as well, which is really nice because if any of you, well, most of you probably have a Wii, it certainly is not designed for flat screens, especially considering. Yeah, it's flat at the top, but it's not that thing for that bloody motion sensor thing. That's why I don't have my Wii wired up, to be honest. Um, and that was impressive, especially considering the potential it could have in games. And that Milo thing was wicked awesome, but pretty disturbing at the same time. Peter Mor, I, I just had the idea that Peter Mori was a Peter Valve in a brief second. Just like, why a boy? How about a chick? <laughs> Um, but wow, I'm, I'm just, Microsoft has certainly raised the bar now, they have basically gone to Sony and go, guess what, we got some announcements too, and Alan Wake is like one thing, oh, just forgot, Metal Gear Solid Rising, Metal Gear Rising, I'm not the biggest fan of Raiden, but Lightning Bolt action, pretty freaking cool. <laughs> oh, it's good to be a gamer. I, I really, I was, I expected a big thing from E3, but I'm kind of took back at the moment. Go watch EA later and Ubisoft. I know what to expect, but. I really want to see what comes from EA and Ubisoft Montreal Studios because I really enjoy their games. Alright guys, take care and peace out and I will do the Nintendo and the Sony one tomorrow.